All right, Crash, here's your second video for the week. Um, we're coming back here from the meat section now in the King Supers. Again, super crowded early on a Saturday morning. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, turkey sausage or s sausage in general. I've seen a lot of people in the five ingredient challenge eating sausage. I think it can be a pretty good alternative or a good tasty meat. Um, look at this first one. We have Simple Truth Turkey Sausage. So the first thing I always look at is the the fat to protein. Not bad. 7 grams of fat, so 19 grams of protein is pretty good. For the ingredients, um, it's basically just turkey and water. Can't complain about that. Again, the less than 2% stuff, even with the first one being just natural spices, salt, dextrose is sugar. Um, it's not really that bad. It's actually a pretty good sausage. Um, in terms of the fat to protein, it's pretty pretty good quality protein too. Um, you can definitely find better. Sausage is never going to be a good alternative for lean protein. Um, you know, if you're trying to lose weight, lean protein is where you want to go. You don't want to go fatty proteins. Um, let's look at a brand like uh, Johnsonville Chorizo. Um, I'm sure this is delicious. Now if we look at it, it's actually got more fat than protein. So I would actually consider this a source of fat, not a source of protein. Sure, it has protein in it, but you're getting a lot more fat than you are protein. So if you're looking for a good protein source, this is not a good protein source. It's a good fat source. As far as ingredients, it's not too bad either. Unfortunately, the third one is corn syrup, so that's sugar. And not only that, it's a really highly processed and highly refined sugar. So um, myself, I would... I would never eat this. Like literally, I would never eat this. I'm sure it's good, but I would never eat this. So let's look at something like uh, Jimmy Dean maple pork sausage. Maple, I might have thought to myself, hey, that might have a lot of sugar in it. Uh, so we go to look at the ingredients really quick. It's not bad. It does have sugar as a third ingredient, pork and water, then sugar. So it is gonna have sugar in it, which will bump up the carbs. For your meat, you shouldn't have carbs. You have two grams of carbs. But again, look at this one. 20 grams of fat for 10 grams of protein twice as much fat and this is as, as it is protein again this is not a protein source this is not a good protein source this is not a good protein source ground pork just straight pork ground pork 31 grams of fat 16 grams of protein not a protein source an extremely fatty meat I guess it has protein in it, much more than carbs, but this is a lot of fat. You're gonna get a lot of fat with your protein. Not a really good protein source. Super clean, pork and salt, super clean. Probably pretty tasty, pork is always tasty, but not a good protein source. So, just some things to think about when you're eating pork. Um, a lot of times if I do get pork of some sort, something like this, I'll mix it with something lean. A really lean ground beef, like a, like a 96.4 ground beef. That way I cut into the fat quite a bit. And maybe I would use like one pound of this and two pounds of the 96.4. It gives a little bit more flavor to just the ground beef, especially 96.4 might not have a lot of flavor because it's 96% lean, but it's a way to get it some flavor um, and then cut into the, the fat. Because um, again, something like this is extremely fatty. So today's workout, I'm gonna kind of show you, I've wrote down the notes because I don't have my computer here at uh, King Supers, but today we're gonna do the, the split lunges. Again, it's a Tuesday, and every Tuesday this month we're gonna do some kind of split lunge. Um, in this case, we're gonna do five split lunges with your back foot, with your rear foot on a bench. Start off with some light weight, and we'll go every two minutes, five lunges per leg, increasing in weight. And then just like we're gonna do every month, every two minutes on the minute for 10 minutes, five back squats. Last week we did it at 60%, this week it's gonna be 65%. The key is speed. The Metcon, I think it'd be one of the worst ones of the week. 50 hang cleans at 135.95. I think there's uh, varying options there for you know the performance and fitness. But every break you do five devil presses. So every time you rest for your hang cleans, you gotta stop and do five devil presses. I think this would be one of the worst workouts we have of the week. Um, and it'd be definitely challenging how many hang cleans can do on broken before you have to stop and do devil presses. And then after that, after you do devil presses, how long do you rest to get as many hand cleans as possible? That'll be your Tuesday. Have a good Tuesday.